Hello! In this video, we will take a look at the EduBit. EduBit is a beginner-friendly microbit kit. It's especially designed to encourage kids to explore STEM and learn coding. EduBit is based on microbit with seven Grove modules. Unlike most kits, the EduBit is an all-in-one PCB printed circuit board. No breadboard, no soldering, even no wiring is needed. By cutting out the complexity and frustration, kids only need to focus on coding and learning. All the Grove modules have been connected through the PCB stamp holes, so no Grove cables are needed to connect. However, later when you're ready to build your own projects, there's the option to break the modules off the EduBit board and use Grove cables to connect the modules for more flexibility in your project design. The Kickstarter ended on October 22, 2020. My two units were delivered on Monday, November 2nd. If you wish to get the EduBit, you can purchase it from the Cytron website. Side note, my EduBit came with Microbit version 1.5. Microbit 2.0 was announced on October 12th, but it won't be available until November. Cytron has stated they will probably ship EduBit with Microbit version 2.0 after it's released for orders placed on their online store. Links will be included in the video description. So let's take a look at the box. It's a beautiful box that can easily store all the kit items. On the back, there's a brief description and a list of what's in the box. There's also space to write your name, so as to easily differentiate whose edubit it belongs to. It's really well constructed and should last a long time. Now, let's open the box and take a look at the contents. On the inside flap, there's a brief guide to the main parts of the edubit board, as well as a quick guide to the layout of the Make Code Editor. The first item we see is the guide booklet. In my opinion, this guide booklet is one of the major highlights of this kit. It's beautifully printed in bright colors and is really easy and fun to read. In other similar kits, I found that the included guides are too basic and don't really offer much other than displaying some sample code. This booklet covers 10 plus 1 hands-on coding lessons. The first 10 lessons can be done with one edubit. The 11th lesson, Simon says, with LEDs, requires two edubit kits as it uses the radio to communicate between two microbits. At the end of each chapter, there is a challenge which requires you to apply what you've learned to build a useful application. It's over 130 pages. The next item we see is a game accessory for the Twister game. I believe that this will be used with the servo motor. Next, we have a cardboard cutout for the Chapter 9 lesson. Looks like a soccer goalie in goal. Here, we have a board for the Snakes and Ladders game. It's printed on good quality cardstock. And this is the board for the Twister game. It's also printed on good quality cardstock. I believe that you can also download the PDFs so that you can reprint them if you need to replace them. So now, let's take a look at the electronic accessories. This first item is the servo motor. Then we have a fan blade and a pulley wheel. This is a USB-A splitter cable to micro USB and a 2.1 millimeter DC connector. And here we have seven Grove cables for the seven Grove modules. And then this is a Phillips screwdriver. And finally, this is a DC motor. And now on to the main event, the EduBit board. The EduBit is an all-in-one PCB printed circuit board. All the wiring is already prefabricated, so there's no need for a breadboard, soldering, or wiring. This reduces the complexity and frustration, so the kids only need to focus on coding. All the Grove modules have been connected through the PCB stamp holes, so no Grove cables are needed to connect. On the right, we see connectors for the DC motor. The upper right corner has connectors for the servo motor. On the back, we see a space where you can write your name to identify whose edubit this belongs to. When you're ready to build your own projects, there's the option to break the modules off the edubit board and use Grove cables to connect the modules for more flexibility in your project design. This came with a microbit, but I believe there's an option to buy one without a microbit if you already have one. So let's once more review what came in the box.
And here is the EduBit board specifications from the Cytron website. There are seven Grove modules on the bottom. These are all snappable and you can break them off from the main EduBit board. The servo motors and the DC motor controllers, as well as the I2C interface, are not breakable from the main board. There's a power switch as well as a power connector, and then the actual slot where you plug in the micro bit. The EduBit comes preloaded with a built in demo. First, we need to connect the splitter cable. We plug in the 2.1mm DC connector to supply power to the EduBit board modules. Next, we plug in the micro USB to the micro bit. This supplies both power and allows data transfers to the micro bit. And finally, we plug in the USB A to the computer. I've also loaded the demo code on the MakeCode online editor in the web browser, and we'll take a closer look at it shortly. Now, we turn on the power via the power switch. You can see how when I press the buttons, it affects the LEDs. When I turn the potential meter, it may be hard to see, but the small LEDs on the EduBit board are indicating the changes. Tapping on the microphone, you can see the microbit LED matrix respond. Now let's take a closer look at the code. You can easily program EduBit using the open source Microsoft MakeCode editor. The preferred browser to use is Google Chrome for web USB support. For the demo code, go to the link shown on the screen. The links will also be included in the video description. When coding the lessons or your own project, add the EduBit MakeCode extension and you're good to go. Let's take a closer look at the demo code. The on start block is run when the microbit is first turned on. Here we see that a power up melody plays once and the RGB pixels light up in a rainbow pattern and the traffic light LEDs are called. In the forever block, this code is continuously run until the microbit is turned off. Here we see that the microbit LED matrix changes with the sound detected from the microphone. Also, the RGB pixels are set in relation to the potential meter, and the IR sensor also has a block of code. Here are two odd button pressed events, which will trigger changes to the traffic light LED by calling the function set traffic light. And finally, this block defines the function set traffic light, which does the actual update to the traffic light LED. For more advanced users, you can easily switch into JavaScript or Python mode on the MakeCode editor for text based programming. Here is the equivalent JavaScript code, and this is the equivalent Python code. I think it's pretty awesome that you have this option so that once you graduate from block-based programming, you can go on to text-based programming with JavaScript or Python. The included guide booklet focuses on block programming mode. The Cytron EduBit is an amazing microbit kit. I would highly recommend getting this kit for kids. The two main standout features are A, the all-in-one PCB, which makes things very simple and allows kids to start interesting projects right away, and B, the extremely well-written and detailed guide booklet. The guide booklet is 131 pages for 10 plus 1 projects. It not only provides the sample code and step-by-step -step instructions, but there are also tons of tips and explanations for the code. At the end of each chapter, there is a challenge which requires you to apply what you've learned to build a useful application. If you get stuck, Cytron has an online resource hub where you can ask for help and get sample code and extra resources. At the end of each chapter, there's also a great explanation of electronics of the related module. The lessons have been creatively structured to introduce programming basics in a fun and engaging manner. Each chapter features a classic childhood game such as Rock, Paper, Scissors, Snakes and Ladders, and Twister. In other similar kits, I found that the included guides are too basic and don't really offer much other than displaying some sample code. The price point for this kit is the same or less than other similar microbit kits. It is a great value just for the hardware alone. 
So if you're looking for something to introduce kids to electronics and coding, I would wholeheartedly recommend Edubit. I hope you found this video interesting and helpful. Thanks for watching.